Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kinstetic with the Kinstetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. So it's been a hot minute since you guys have seen me sit down here and record a video. I honestly cannot remember the last video that I actually sat down to record. Um, if you guys didn't watch my last vlog, I was kind of in a funk. So now that I'm back and better, we're back to our videos, period. So in today's video, we'll be speaking all about my luxury hands bag wish list, bags that I've been eyeing, bags that I'm manifesting into my life, bags that I do plan on purchasing one day. We'll be speaking about that today. I also wanted to include details on my 6,000 subscriber giveaway. So thank you guys so, so much for 6,000 subscribers once again. I'm super happy that all of you guys have, uh, you know, came to join me on my journey. And to hear me talk and to hear me share different things i'm super excited that you guys have been rocking with me i'm forever grateful i love each and every one of you guys and with that being said if you're not subscribed already make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because we lit we do big things over here and uh, yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you also give it a big thumbs up drop a comment down below with your thoughts comments opinions any of that leave it down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so in case you guys don't know, I'm huge on bags. I like to spend money on designer bags. I just have a bag obsession. I don't know what it is, but it's okay. Because, you know, we manifest in everything we want into our life in 2020 and beyond, okay? So the first designer bag that I am hoping to have in my collection real soon is the Louis Vuitton Vanity PM. You guys, this bag is gorgeous. It's like a old school theme but with the reverse monogram it makes it more like modern especially to the louis vuitton family so i really really enjoy it i don't know why i have this obsession with vanity bags now like the little top handle it just does something to me i love the strap love the reverse monogram like this bag once i saw it i'm like oh this is why louis vuitton hasn't had me spending coins here in a while because i've just been waiting for this bag to be introduced so that i can spend my coins on it so this bag does retail for two thousand five hundred and forty dollars so you know it's a little pricey especially compared to my alma bb which is the only louis vuitton bag i have in my collection right now but it's okay so yes that vanity pm has to come home to mama because it is the one she is everything and more and i'm really 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 trying to get it it's been out of stock since before the whole global pandemic outbreak i even tried to call stores overseas like hey are you guys shipping to the us you guys have it in stock and i had no luck so we'll see what becomes of it if it's for me then it will you know come home to mama if not then we'll move along accordingly so the next designer bag that I would like to have in my collection soon is a Louis Vuitton Scott box. So I have mixed feelings about this bag. Well, it's actually like a jewelry organizer, I believe, but everybody's been dressing it up and using it as like a cute little handbag. I think it's very cute. I think it's very different, which is why I think that I'm really attracted to it. However, a part of me is telling me like this bag is trendy um this bag is in now and will be out later in case you guys don't know when i do buy luxury designer bags i like it for it to be a bag that i can wear for my whole life and give to my future daughters and my daughters to give to their daughters and my daughters or daughters to give to their daughters y'all get what i'm saying it's gonna go through generations that's how i feel about designer bags i want them to last forever i want them to have a value i want them to be you know all of that so with the Scott box, I do feel like it's different. I think it's very cute. However, I'm not really too sure if it is trendy. So I'm going to think about it a little bit longer. And then I'll go ahead and pull the trigger if need be. Um, this price does retail for $1,130. So it's not as expensive as other Louis bags. But once again, as I mentioned, it's not really a bag. So yeah. So the next luxury designer bag that I want is the Balenciaga Hourglass bag. This is a bag that I've been looking at for a while. However, I'm not really too sure what color and style I want it in. I know for sure I want like a croc style. So I was either looking at the black croc with the gold hardware, but I have a lot of 
not a lot of but i have a few black bags with gold hardware so i also want to make sure that my collection is you know varied and i don't have too many of one style or one color kind of bag so i was just like hmm, maybe not then i was looking at the light gray croc one but i wasn't too in love with how the silver hardware looked on like the light gray i feel like it kind of blended in and um the b like hardware isn't really a contrast so that was a little issue that i had but i know for sure i want that bag in a croc style one thing with this bag is that they come out with colors so often that not that i have to decide quick but if i am in love with the colorway i'm gonna have to cop it when i see it because if not it will be sold out and then i'll have to go down rabbit holes to try to find it and i'm not trying to do that so i definitely want this bag um an estimate of this bag is about two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars for the croc style if you get like the regular um patent leather or the other options they have it will be cheaper but croc style bags are usually more expensive than other materials y'all know me my chest is high up to here so i want the top of the top i don't know why it's it's not like on purpose it's just that it happens but whatever you guys get the point i want the balenciaga hourglass bag and a croc style the next bag that i want which i really really want to be my next purchase but at the same time i gotta trust the process and i can't be rushing and to bring it into my life but i want and i'm going to get and i'm manifesting it <laughs> A Chanel boy bag. I want a Chanel bag and I feel like the boy bag is like the first item to have in your collection as far as a Chanel bag. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts but I just feel like a boy bag needs to be first. I don't know what color I want yet. A part of me wants an exotic color like a orange or a pink but then another part of me is like girl get something more neutral that you can wear more often. I know for sure I don't want black because I have so many black bags in my collection but I do want um probably like a gray a brown an ox blood like kind of color we'll see when the time comes but i do want a chanel boy bag um if you guys have one if that is on your wish list too comment down below and let me know which color or style you guys have on your wish list um the Chanel boy bag ranges from $4,900 to $5,200. I know at the beginning of this year, Chanel did raise the prices of their bags. So around that time, I'm like, hmm, should I like drop a bag and get a bag before the bag price goes up or should I just hold off? And I just decided to hold off because I'm like, I don't want to rush it and I get a color and I'm just like, I'm not too in love with this color. And I just spent mad money on it. So I was just like, I'm not going to get it. I'm just going to wait and... God will do what he will do on his timing, okay? The last designer bag that I want in my collection right now is actually a men's bag, but I think it's so cute. It is a Dior Roller Messenger bag. So it is like a cylinder shape. It sits like on the side so it's longer rather than taller and i love the prints of it i love the shape of it i feel like i can fit my essentials in there without like overstuffing it it is a messenger bag so in case y'all don't know i love myself a little crossbody messenger type of bag so i it's a men's bag but i think it's cute i haven't really seen a lot of ladies with it so i'm just like i think it's cute i don't care if it's men's i don't care if it's women's i'm gonna get it um i believe do you raise the prices of their bags already or they're planning to um but this bag right now is thirteen hundred dollars which also is not bad so that'll probably be next since it's a little cheaper and i can just get it and cross it off my list but those are all of the bags that are on my luxury designer bag wish list right now comment down below and let me know what's on your list what bags you guys plan on picking up um are you guys big on luxury designer bags do you guys have a list am i the only one who got a list because I don't know how these things go but i just write down like items that i want and i manifest them into my life i put the work in and i get the bag okay so that's my luxury designer bag wish list now i wanted to speak about my 6,000 subscriber giveaway so i did hit 5,000 subscribers during quarantine and during that time i didn't really feel comfortable doing a giveaway because i'm like i hope i don't have nothing on my teeth because I'm like, I know that a lot of people wouldn't feel comfortable entering and I don't want it to be unfair for the people who really rock with me, the people who really like, you know, support me. Um, if they don't feel comfortable entering a giveaway right now, you can't really blame them with everything that was going on. But now I feel a little bit more comfortable doing a giveaway. I did hit 6,000 subscribers last month in June. Is it June? Yeah, in June. Um, this giveaway will be a subscriber appreciation giveaway. So what I will be doing is I will be... Um, giving and selecting people who have been rocking with me who've been supporting me who have been you know engaging with my content and just 
you know, been here since the beginning, been here for the ride. So um, if you do feel like you fit those qualifications, that description, then go ahead and leave a comment down below with your Instagram handle and you know, cute little message. Yeah, I know I'll be reading my comments and responding back, um, but I do have some people in mind, but I really want to make sure that this is fair. I wanna make sure that this giveaway is going to people who have been here with me along my journey. So if you feel like you are one of those people, then comment down below your Instagram handle, cute little message, and I will get back to each of you guys. Um, I do have multiple boxes curated. So what I did is I purchased and I, handpick some things that I got in PR that I really, really love um, that define me as far as like the organizational aspect of my life. Um, my love for hair care, my love for skincare, my love for body, body care, my love for um, self-love, self-appreciation, confidence, just things that are in my regular routines that I feel like you guys would appreciate. I have purchased them, I have picked them out from my PR pile and I will be creating boxes for the winners of this giveaway. So I hope you guys really, really enjoy and I hope you guys enter and yeah. Yeah, so this is my 6k giveaway I'll be doing another giveaway when we get to 10k so make sure that you guys you know follow you guys um subscribe you guys follow my journey you guys are engaged so that you know when time comes around again you guys can enter and you know we are family over here okay I'm not cheap I'm not stingy with my giveaways so that's one thing about me but yeah so that's all I have for today's video uh, make sure you guys subscribe make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up comment down below with any of the points I discussed in this video or anything else that may be on your mind leave it down below and until my next video which will be on Wednesday I'll see you guys later